I'm Aaron Graber with Ventrac, and today we're gonna to do some spring cleaning. We're here on my property with a very long gravel driveway, and we're gonna clean these rocks out of the grass. We had a pretty serious winter season this year. We had a lot of snow pushing events. I have a pretty long gravel driveway myself. This driveway that I'm standing next to is a shared driveway that my neighbor and I share. Uh, so we have a lot of area, maybe two or 300 yards of length to take care of. And this is the stuff that ends up in your grass. You do not want to hit this with mower blades because you're gonna be sharpening mower blades all summer long. So you wanna try and get this back into the driveway before you have real problems across the summer. Uh, and that's what we're gonna to do today. Also, once we're done brooming the grass, we're going to use the landscape rake. And you'll notice, especially, so my driveway is basically just all limestone, uh, none of this road grinding stuff. And the problem that presents is that when you push the snow around, invariably you leave piles like this that are just a lot deeper than everywhere else. So this is probably eight inches deep of gravel. Um, and I want this gravel more evenly distributed through the rest of the driveway. You can see back there where we make the turn, some of that gravel is pushed away. We'll use a landscape rake to re-level this stuff and just get that more even across the driveway. And after that, we should be basically done. The primary tool today that we're gonna use is our 52 inch broom. A couple reasons for that. The broom has independent speed control of tractor RPM. So when you turn the PTO on, you can dial back the bristles. And this is a little bit uh, of finesse work. If you've never done this job before, you wanna pay attention to the details on the front end. Uh, first of all, you wanna make sure the grass is kinda of dry. You don't wanna do this after a rain or you'll rip a lot of grass out if you're too aggressive. So make sure the grass is pretty dry. And then you also wanna make sure your bristle contact to the ground is, is pretty minimal. You can adjust that with the, the caster spacing uh, to make sure that those bristles aren't digging into the turf too much. And then by, by slowing down the rotor speed as you drive along, you're not really digging into the ground much. You're just kind of flicking that gravel off and hopefully not taking any grass with you. Throughout the process, you'll probably see some grass and old leaves from the fall end up in the driveway, but it's really no big deal. It doesn't look great right away. Uh, but eventually that stuff dries out and the wind blows it away and everything looks normal. All right, we know our audience out there likes to see the equipment work and not me talk, so we're just gonna get right to it and we're gonna start moving gravel. So you might be wondering after watching a little bit of that, uh, whether this broom can dethatch your lawn. And we have seen people use it for that before, which is, uh, doesn't come without one warning though. It can be very aggressive. So make sure you are barely scratching the surface because if you use it for that, uh, you can really do some damage if you get a little bit too aggressive. What I'm doing now though is I'm adjusting the caster wheels differently. I started out with a matched but just like most driveways, there's a little bit of a crown here, which means the grass drops off on the end. And so when I get to this more aggressive spot, I wasn't picking up much of the gravel. So I drop down only the left side so that hopefully it's a little more aggressive. And then I kept the other side the same. That way we don't dig into the turf too much. From what we've done so far, it looks like we won't do any damage to the grass, but we wanna make sure it stays that way. Um, the last thing we wanna do is fix rocks in the yard and then have to go back and fix turf again. So trying to protect the turf, get the rocks out all at the same time. One of the rare occasions that I would run the broom with mismatched casters.
In this spot over here, um, the city plow trucks came through and they got a little bit wide and, and they were probably two or three feet into my driveway off the road. And they took a lot of my gravel and gave it to my neighbor. So I'm bringing it back. This is a little bit different because this is way outside the realm of just cleaning up the edge of the driveway. But uh, the broom actually does a really good job of this as well. Again, just make sure you're not digging too deep because while I want my gravel back, I don't want to steal the neighbor's grass along with it. We're almost done. We got the gravel out of the grass, back into the driveway. The next thing to do is use the landscape rake to reposition some of this deeper gravel in my driveway. And if you've never used this type of rake, like a tying rake like this on a vent track before, but you have on a regular compact tractor, I cannot stress this enough. This attachment might be one of our most underrated attachments. And it's not necessarily because the attachment itself is that much different than what else is out there on the market. Uh, again, very similar in its approach, but the fact that it's coupled to this tractor and it's in front of you and you have the control that you do makes it so, 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 so much easier to use than anything else out there. It's very efficient. Uh, I'll have this driveway done, this gravel repositioned in less than 10 minutes. So if you're doing a huge area uh, or if you're doing multiple driveways like this, you'd notice some real efficiency gains having this attachment on the front of a Ventrac versus any other type of equipment. Well, that's that. That job was pretty easy. Uh, it only happens once a year, but it doesn't take much time if you have the right equipment. As always, Ventrac makes it even simpler. It's probably something we could have struggled through with some other equipment, but uh, when you got the right tool for the job, it doesn't take any time at all. We're starting to be pretty keen on ending these videos with a question. And since we're at my house, I got a new wood chipper, but we don't know what kind he is. So in the comments, if you're a vet tech or a professional dog whisperer or something, he's like 10 weeks old. He came from the pound with a lot of attitude, but no papers. So let us know what you think he is. All right, say bye, Enzo. We got some sticks to fetch. <laughs>